So this is the place. This is bad apple. This is our studio Well, you didn't tell me what's in here. This is Ernesto Soroli. And this is Sam. Come here. This is Sam, my son. And Kate. Um, and Kate is... Um, okay. Hello. Kate is part of, with Sam, bad apple. Sam has basically planned and put this together with Kate on the basis of Ernesto's ideas. So he's going to find out about it and see what he thinks and we'll have a chat about what he thinks and where it's going and whether or not it's any use. Does the world need to know about these sort of businesses or not? <laughs> you two oh, sorry. 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 <laughs> Just trying to give all the artists the same medium basically. So pretty classic overdone idea of skateboard decks. I've given it, given it to 10 of the main illustrators and artists in here um, for our opening launch party, just to have a collective exhibition mm -hmm. to start off with. So I'll show you around. So in here we have students studying history, natural medicine, brewers, photographers, illustrator, architect, and comedian as well. And we put them right next to our two town. For young plans. people to start to experiment with business and business okay. ideas is uh, fantastic. Yeah. And the sooner they do it, the better it is. Also, I'm excited because there's a culture that is spreading around the world about millennials, young people getting together and experimenting with uh, entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Some of the other artists who are just starting businesses. If you take one of these uh, young uh, men and women and you leave them alone, in a house, uh, they are going to uh, really be desperate because they can never, ever, by themselves, make it happen. Third, mm. community legals under our feet, just yeah. down below. Oh yes, just, we could just go pop in there. But um, no, we, we're trying to get accounts out of the way first. Um, we're actually one of the arms that your your suggestion was around working with um, a friend who's passionate in the area and she yeah. studied accounting. This kind of uh, experimentation should be managed. You don't want them to burn out and be become uh, disillusioned. We have to give them the best that we have. But at the same time, it's phenomenal. There is nothing that I uh, would do differently from what they're doing. I'm discovering that uh, this is happening more and more around the world where young people get together. And also, uh, because they cannot find jobs, or some of them do not want to go and work for corporations, um, then entrepreneurship is the only thing that really is attractive to them. Mm. It takes a lot of faith in yourself to do that. Though. Absolutely. It's one of the things, well, I mean, hoping to set up development programs where we work with like five artists at a time yeah. with the collective out of the studio. So, it's, so then that's like encouraging people to realize that they're taking on yeah. art as a profession rather than just being this kind of like thing they're playing with. And what we see, in fact, is lots of people who try to start a business alone, fail, try again, fail, try again, and then they say, because I'm stupid, I need help. No, no, no. It's not because you're stupid, it's that nobody has ever started a company alone. Nobody in history. So the sooner we take this information to the grassroots, the better it is. Then we have learned this by doing it. Not, there was no school that taught us to do this, but when we started to speak to people at the grassroots, we could never find anybody with a passion for those three things, making and selling it and look, at, look after the money. So we should stop uh, the emphasis on human capital and we should start emphasizing social capital. Absolutely. This place is social capital. Mm -hmm. This is about, let me talk to a mate about what I am not good at, but you should never surround yourself with people who are like you, think like you, have the same passion, because you're missing the point.